Have you ever heard of a writer named Hubert Selby Jr. He wrote a book called The Last Exit of Brooklyn, Requiem for a Dream, The Demon, books like that. Okay, well, there's bookstores. I'm sure they have them. I'm just, uh, he, he's, a, he's a great American writer. You might do yourself a service by reading one of his books. I'm not saying you're illiterate, but I'm saying you're missing out if you don't check out a little Hubert Selby before you toddle off the coil. And so um, he was one of my great teachers. And many years ago, in December of uh, 1986, I actually called him 653 area code. In those days, now it's 323. Anyway, I found uh, he was in the phone book because I'd been reading his books and it caused writer's block. Like, I'm a writer. I just couldn't write anymore so I was reading his books going why bother why should I bother even buying a pen because this guy has written everything that needs to be written I can read these four books over and over and over again fuck it and I realized that the only person who can help me make me write again is Hubert Selby and so I look in the phone book because I know he lives in Los Angeles a New Yorker living in LA and like this is gonna be funny like I'm really gonna find holy fuck he's in the phone book <laughs> trembling I call him hello hi you don't know me, my name is Henry, I'm a writer, and I've been reading your books, Mr. Selby, and I can't write anymore, especially after reading the Requiem for a Dream, I think that, just one, that one just shut me down, and I haven't written a thing in about a week and a half, and I usually write like a psychotic man, like all day and all night, and I lose sleep and try and write in the shower, and write when I'm eating, because I I'm feel compelled to write, but no more, ever since I closed the covers on Requiem for a Dream, so is it possible that I could like look you in the eye or shake your hand, and maybe it'll dislodge this, this thing that's wrong with me? Yes, yeah, sure, you can come over. I can come over to your place? Yeah, sure. And that started our very long friendship until he passed away a few years ago where I spoke at his memorial. And a uh, wonderful guy. But I would sit down with him and other writers and he would just kind of counsel us. And he's like, you men, you, you men writers, you always put your balls in the way of the story. Get your fucking cock out of the way of the story. Just tell the story. Get your ego out of the way. You guys, you're right. You got too much ego. Destroy the ego. Tell the truth. The ego is never the truth. I'm like writing this shit down, trying to adhere to it. And you know what? He's right.